Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to record your screen like I'm doing right now on a Raspberry Pi. For free, of course. Um, no cost at all. It uses, if you look, it uses quite a bit of your CPU and I wouldn't recommend this unless you're running the Pi 3 Model B or greater, or I mean Model B Plus greater currently I own the model 3 B plus and that's what I'm running this on and as of now that is the best Raspberry Pi you can get with one gigabyte of RAM and it still uses like 81% so I'm gonna show you guys how to install this I'll probably put a uh, a script in the description like in the YouTube description I'll probably put um the contents of a script to install it for you but if you want to do it by hand then just pop open terminal and do sudo apt-get upgrade or no not upgrade update and so what this does is your um how you install software on Raspbian is through packages and this upgrades your package list and I'll probably talk more about packages and Linux in another video, but so for now just do apt sudo apt dash git update and then you want to do sudo apt dash git install simple screen recorder. And that shouldn't it won't say the th same thing. It won't say simple screen recorder is already in the newest version. That's actually what I'm using to record at the moment. You have a few other options. Oh no. And then you want to click on your home menu and go to sound and video and then simple screen recorder should be right there. You can click on that. I'm currently running it as you see. But then continue. There's a ton of options, frame rate, all sorts of things. You can even just record one small part of your screen which is really cool like look at that I can record that part of my screen only that part or you can just record the entire screen and so you want to mess with these things okay, no that's the one I'm recording right now and then you will set your directory so I put it under videos and that's setup mp4 that's the one we're recording right now so that's setup mp4 so let's just name it uh, video.mp4 and then it should pop up like that and then you can hit continue and then you can start your recording and everything there's a preview but that's kinda CPU intensive which it says um and then you just start your recording blah blah, blah do all that and then at the end you just stop it here and then save it If, if you can't go to sound and video, then you should go to preferences, main menu editor, and then make sure the sound and video check mark is checked, and then it will show up there. There are a few other options, like I'm sure you probably saw record my desktop. The problem with this software that I've had is when I record my desktop, it, um, it adds some weird pink t tint in the After Effect, and I can't seem to figure that out. And I just like this one better, to be honest, the one that I'm using right now, because it has a lot more options and there's no pink tint. Also, this uh, Record My Desktop does not record to MP4, it records to AUG video, which is like .ov o GV. I'm not even sure if YouTube recognizes that format. I know uh, Windows Media Player won't recognize that. So I had to open it in Google Chrome for my main computer to even recognize the format that it's saved in. And VLC Media Player does recognize it. So, um... Yeah, that's that's really it. Just record away because 
I'm recording right now at 60 frames per second at almost, I like, almost 1280. I, I'm, like, HD recording right now, and it's, it's just a really nice tool, and I really like this. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on the next Raspberry Pi video or whatever I decide to do.